Hey, what's going on, Libros? Butch Terrell here. I am going to do your read uh, for February. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all your cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And today, it's all backwards here. <laughs> today, I'm going to be using uh, the Witch's Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe gonna be high for me. What is going on for me? All right, Libras. So the first thing that I see, Libras, I feel like I feel like you're gonna have options coming up in February. Now, with this, there's gonna be one very specific one that I want you to watch out for. Now, in the beginning, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of flirtatious energy with this person. This one specific person that I want you to watch out for. I feel like it's very important for you to suss out these options and to see this one person. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very physical from the very beginning. I feel like from the very moment you meet this person, there's going to be a, a lot of physical chemistry. But I feel like there's a lot more that meets the eye with this person. I don't feel like you're going to see everything in front of you right away. You know, with this person, you may get the wrong impression that they're after one thing. With all that physical energy, it's going to, you know, it's going to be hard to see it. But trust me, it's there. There's something much deeper at play here. Now with this person, this person comes off very confident. You know, also we have the King of Swords as well. Very confident, very passionate, but also very mature. You know, almost like an authority figure. You know, with that King of Swords, I, I do feel like this person is, like I said, they're very, very mature, very intelligent. But I feel like there's also that passion that really balances this person out. You know, they're not the all work and no play type of person. Now with this person as well, um, like I said, this person is going to be very giving. And I feel like, like I said, this is going to be something that's going to play out. In the beginning, it's more of a physical attraction. But I feel like it's going to, you know, it's very quickly going to be something more. You know, feeling like, you have something more with this person, more in common with this person than you first thought. You know, like I said, they, they're going to be very... I don't know how to put it any, other, any way better than... They're going to chase you. But they're not chasing you to be another trophy on their shelf. And I feel like that may be the wrong impression you may get from this person in the beginning. Thinking that they're, they're only after one thing. Another notch in the bedpost type of energy. That's not this person. This person, they see what they want. They go after it. Full out. Now, what's going to set this person apart is, like I said, with that friendship, you're feeling like you have more in common with this person than you first realize. And I feel like as that proceeds, we start to feel a real connection with this person. Something much deeper than, you know, it's, I like to call it the iceberg love. You know, it, everything looks good on the top. You know, we like what we're seeing, but there's so much we can't see that we start to see. And when, once we start to see it, we like it even more. 
<laughs> the iceberg love. I want to, I want to, you know, I'm going to phrase that someday. Like I said, this person's very open with you, very honest, you know, very communicate and communicate communicative. I wish I could talk. The worst part about saying that word is not being able to say it, not being able to communicate it properly. <laughs> it's like so counterproductive, but you know, very honest, very, very to the point. You know, seeming like in the beginning, see the thing that you're gonna, I feel like you're gonna enjoy about this person is in the beginning, they're very to the point. They go after what they want. And I feel like what you weren't sure about with them in the beginning, in the beginning is one of the things you're really gonna like about this person in the end is the fact that they're a straight shooter. They're not gonna bullshit you. They go after what they want. Now, with this person, there's a very... I mean, like I said, with the with, with this person, it, it's going to be very complicated in the beginning. But trust your intuition with this person. I feel like your intuition is going to be the biggest telltale for which, which person of all the... You know, with the... With all the connections, you know, the connections that I do see coming for you, because I feel like there's going to be more than one. With these connections, your intuition is going to be the most important part to listen to here. You know, this person is going to be very giving. And, you know, they're going to want to take you out. They're going to want to buy you nice things. They're going to want to do things with you. They're going to want to show you off. But like I said, that's not... They're not grooming you to be another trophy on their shelf. They're grooming you to be the trophy on their arm. And I don't know if I made that sound really terrible. <laughs> but but trust me when I say this, it's a good thing. You know, they they want to show you off. They they're they're you know. They like nice things. They want to give you nice things. And they want people to be, you know, there's a little bit of a, they don't want people to be jealous of them. I just feel like this person just, when they have something that's really important to them, there's something that they really enjoy, they like showing it off. That's just who they are. And I feel like it sounds really narcissistic the way I'm putting it and I don't I don't want it to come off that way but this person is going to be very protective of you but also I feel like there is an establishment of trust this person wants you to trust them and that's I, I feel like that's another big part of this person really the two of you really gelling together is the fact that this person is protective over you this person wants to establish trust they want you to trust them You know, they're not just trying to... This person is the type of person that when they see something, they go after it. They don't want to have no re no regrets. You know, this person doesn't want to look back and say, I should have said something. You know, I, I met this person. I should have said something to them. That's not this person. This person, when they want something, they go after it wholeheartedly. And when you're important to them, they want you to know that you're important to them. They don't want any doubts in your mind. You know, this person's all in. And like I said, they, I feel like this person's really going to balance your life out. I see a lot of changes coming in a very good way. You know, I, I feel like having someone so committed and so forthcoming is going to be a big change from... So most, like, you know, I, I don't feel like this is like anybody you've ever dated before. And like I said, with that lover's card, it's a very, very deep connection. And it's only going to get bigger. You know, it's like blowing up a balloon. You blow it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, you're thinking, okay. And then you just keep blowing, thinking, okay, when's it, when's it going to pop? But this is a balloon that I don't see popping anytime soon. I see you getting everything you want from this person. You know, I, I feel like this person, and like I said, 
it seems very casual seems very like they want something very different from what they really want in the beginning but i feel like this is followed up with a very you know they're gonna want to get serious you know just think of this person as someone like an art collector to me to somebody else they may not see it you know they may not see the little things this person sees the little things in you and they all add up to the big picture and they're seeing it and they want to be part of it they want you to be part of their life they want to build with you they want to build a foundation and i see a lot of forward movement and like i said this person the way they're acting with you that's what the biggest thing you know i see a lot of forward movement a lot of loyalty a lot of trust that's the thing what i what i meant when in the beginning when you see this person when you meet this person in the beginning they're going to seem like they're after one thing but just remember what i'm telling you right now is this person sees you and they can't help themselves you know they're going in taking that leap of faith like i said I see a lot of happiness you're getting what you want with the sun card we have the nine of cups a lot of emotional fulfillment you know filling up all your cups this person's gonna want to make you happy because that makes them happy this person's in it for you and them they want to build a foundation they want to build a strong foundation i don't feel like this person is necessarily like that i feel like the right person at the right time makes them like that you make them like that And we all know that look when somebody sees you and, and you look at you and when they're looking at you, you're thinking, okay, they look at me like I'm a piece of meat. That's not it. They just can't keep them ha their hands off you. They want to reach out. Like I said, with that King of Wands, they want to reach out and grab you and hold on. I mean, we have, you know, this person, like I said, they're going to show up for you. They're not just doing it for them. They're not, they're going to do it for you. They're going to be there for you. You know, this person will show you off. But this is the type of person that's going to want to integrate into your life. You know, they want to get involved in what makes you happy. You know, they're going to want to meet your friends. They're going to want to, you know, be part of your life. And I don't mean that in a clingy way. I just mean that they want to, they want to, they're investing. They see you as a great investment. You know, and, and, and what I mean by the, the beginning of this is think of it as if you see something. Okay, so you're an antique dealer. I don't know why I'm going with all these dealers, but you're an antique dealer. And you go to a yard sale and you see something that's worth millions. And nobody else seems to see it. You're going to beeline over it, pay the $10 and get the hell out of there. <laughs> that's what this person is like. That's why they're like the way they are. They see something and they want to get it before anybody else notices it. They see something with a lot of value to them. Someone they could build their life with. But that's what they're looking for. So don't be, they're overzealous in the beginning. Don't be, don't judge by, by that. Look at the big picture like they're doing. Now with this person we have Taurus. We have Virgo. Capricorn. I mean, we have all signs. I'm not going to go through it all. You know, you know all the signs. I mean, I, I see all signs here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know why I said I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to do it anyway. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have to. I'm like OCD or something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to do it. And I did it anyway. It's like OCD. You know, it's like, uh, if you're watching the Big Bang Theory, it's like Sheldon knocking three times at the door. He, he can't stop it, too. But like I said, with this person, it's not like anybody you ever met. And don't... Don't judge the book by its cover. This is the biggest piece of advice I can give you with this person. Like I said, what you're seeing in the beginning is not what you're going to get. I don't know why I went with so many dealers, or art dealers, the antique dealers, but it's the metaphor I can think of. You know, you see something that nobody else is seeing. 
you jump on it. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. But, like I said, there's much more to their plan than just taking you home. Their plan, in, you know, includes more of building a home with you. Building a home for you. You know, it's... That's the thing. You know, so many people mis mistake people's intentions. And it ruins a lot of things. You know, so many people will say, okay, well, if somebody's trying to get with you, like, you know, one of my, one of Rose's friends, she comes over. Um, she's going through boyfriends like crazy. I know she watches this, so I'm not going to say her name, but, um, you know, she's always going through boyfriends. And she sees one red flag and she's out. And I get that. But there was a guy. Um, he's been trying to get with her for probably two years. You know, he comes around, he asks her out. You know, is always nice to her, always asking about her. And I keep trying to set her up with him. Because I'm like, this guy consistently, you know, he doesn't give up. And, and I even told her, I said, you know what I mean? She's like, oh, well, you know... We went on a date once and we hooked up. It was one night stand, she said. And it's, you know, that's the type of guy he is. I'm like, it's really not. Like, I don't... When he says it's... He's not like that, he's not. You know, I've known this guy for years and he's never been like that. But with her... I mean, just because you have... You know, just because you get together on the first night... Doesn't mean it can't be something special. Doesn't mean it can't grow. So many people have that idea in their head that if somebody's trying to get with you the first night, they don't really respect you or this is not the other thing. That's not true. Sometimes it is. But 100%, that's not always true. There's lots of guys that aren't going to say no to you. You know, if that's where it leads, that's where it leads. But doesn't mean they ain't going to call you the next day. You know, it doesn't mean they don't want to call you the next day. I mean, it's, so many people have this, this idea that, and especially like with her, I think one of the biggest things she said to me, which really stuck with me and, and, and I realize a lot of people think this way is that she said, oh, he reminds, you know, he reminds me of all these other guys back in the day that always just try to hook up with you and then they never call you again. But I'm like, she's like, I don't want to be that girl. And I was like, the thing is, is you're holding him accountable for what other people did maybe their agenda was that but i'll tell you one thing it's been almost two years he's been chasing her that's not his agenda and she you know she keeps going back and forth with me she's like oh well he just that's all he wants he wants another go around i'm like you could be missing something great he's a good guy works hard you know he's I've never seen him around girls to be a player like that. It's not, not his forte. But she has it ingrained in her head that that's what guys are like. And if she misses out on a good thing, that's her decision. But like I said, with this person, they're going to come at you, you know, hot and heavy. But that's not their, that's not the complete agenda. They're just seeing something they can't, they can't keep, they can't, you know, they find you irresistible and they can't hold back. And they're not trying to hold back. Some people are just all in. 100% give her. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.